Hey YouTube, Pipe Trucker here. Um, I cracked open this uh, Stokeby's fourth generation, and uh, I'll tell you what, you know, from uh, from the tin, it smells it smells delicious, you know. Um, you know how that uh, how full Virginia has that. Uh, Oh, uh, grassy hay field type smell to it. This has the same thing, only uh, kind of a oh a honey type vanilla uh, note to it. Yeah, uh, smells really good. But you know, here lately I've been noticing on uh, on a lot of these tobaccos that have a top note to them. Um, you know, a lot of it is being picked up by the by the, this top. Can you see that? See all that? That's soaked into that paper. I mean, I guess there's nothing wrong with it. It's just a, <laughs> it must be an awful lot, huh? But yeah, it smells really good. It's the Stokebees 1957, fourth generation. I have to bear with me. I just walked in the door. Um, overnight run. Wow. Really mild. Very mild. Um, you know, it tastes like a full Virginia. Um, was just a very, very, very light hint of uh, vanilla or honey, but it's very light. You you you're getting more Virginia taste um, than anything else. Hmm. It was a little bit damp too. Um, the tin says, my personal favorite, uh, bright Virginia, light brown burley, created a perfect harmony in, in this blend. A naturally sweet tasting blend, the soft, creamy vanilla adds to the elegant room notes. Perfect for a relaxing moment, any time of the day. Well, Peter's right, man. It's good. And that's exactly what you're thinking. You know, uh, when you taste this, it's like, uh, you know, it's a very relaxing tobacco. You know, very, I mean, this is one you want to kick back, stretch your legs out, Kick on the TV, fire up your pipe. Very nice. Boy, it's colder than hell here. I mean, cold. It's about 14 degrees out. They're they're saying uh, four inches of snow here tonight. Um, and I load my truck um, 160 miles north here, and they're they're talking um, eight to nine inches there. 
Damn it, man. I hate that shit. <laughs> Maybe the boss will take pity on me. Um, I got this pipe last week off of eBay. And a seller couldn't find a name on it. I found a name, but it is so... I don't know, either not stamped in there very good. Or it's worn. Um... It is a Danish pipe, says made in Denmark, and it says natural on it. Um, and the number 15 stamped in it. Um, but man, it is a damn, it, it's my favorite pipe right now. <laughs> um, and the reason being is, you know, this really wide stem, you know, that, that's a plus for me. Um, the shape, the, you know, just the shape of it and the feel of it. You can tell it's a quality made pipe. It's got just a little bit of heft to it, you know, a little bit of weight. Um, but yeah, I just, man, I love this pipe. Um, I wish I could find out, you know, what it is. Uh, if anybody has any ideas on how I can find out, um, let me know. Uh, you know, shoot me an email. Um, um, or, uh, or, you know, leave me a comment, you know, on this video. Um, what you think, or, or a place where I might start to look, you know. But yeah, it's just a damn fine pipe. No tongue bite whatsoever with that with that um, fourth generation. It's really good tobacco. Hmm. Very good. I'll tell you what, this this would be perfect, ideal. For um, for that transition from a, a full aromatic to a Virginia, um, damn, it, it would be it'd be just right for that. Because it tastes um, a little bit like Orlick, but like I said, it has that very very slight sweetness top note to it you know it's got me curious um, I've always bought if I bought any stoker bees it was the bulk you know like a, a raspberry or a caramel or something like that um, But these fourth generation blends, I'm curious about them now. You know, I'm going to have to try more of these because I really like this. This is good stuff. I give it a thumbs up all the way. Mmm, delicious. Well, that's about it here. Um, fourth generation Stokebees, 1957. Yeah, it's good stuff. I highly recommend it. So, don't forget about my pipe. <laughs> you know, if you got any ideas, let me know. I appreciate it. So, um, my email address, pipetrucker51, gmail.com. Um, that'll get you. All right. Y'all take care.